Hey folks, a lot of you know that we've been seeing some strange readings here on the induction magnetometer. They are especially visible when you're just looking at the BZ. But we're going to add a little component to that, and that's the sound that it's making. First, I want to say a quick word that this thing has gotten a bad name. Some people say that it could be used to tell when they're using harp, and that is absolutely a fallacy. It is a great data stream of geomagnetic instability, however. Let's go back to 2009. I've chosen this day because it has some strong resonance here up to here at these frequencies. A lull in the middle so you can compare it to uh, ambient quiet and a pickup at the end. As we enter the lull, you should be able to compare that previous high scratchiness to ambient space weather quiet. Then it builds at the end just like you see. Now you're going to be able to just barely hear that same high scratchiness at the end and you're going to only be able to hear it barely because the baseline resonance sounds a little bit like thunder and it's a lot louder. But don't worry, this is all just normal geomagnetic instability. It happens. Okay, now when we come and take a look at what's happening today, the day with this strange resonance here, you are going to hear that loud baseline resonance in the middle, but you should definitely be able to hear something else. Now, it sounded a bit like PC1 pulsations, but not really. This is the best sounding example of a PC1 pulsation that you can find. Well, that's ion cyclotron radiation near the equatorial line of our magnetosphere, and it's rarer, but it is still not unheard of like this. Definitely sounds different. Now, folks, we did have a geomagnetic storm last night, but it was a mild one, and we've seen tons of those, and they don't look like this. Had a gamma ray burst this morning, but that's a very short-lived event and wouldn't look like this. Had tons of those as well. Don't know what this means, don't know where it came from, but we'll certainly keep an eye on it. There are only two links below, folks. First one is to this induction magnetometer. The second one is to this morning's two-minute news. Be safe, everyone.